Hey guys, this is Abhishek and as suggested in the previous video, in this video I am going to talk about how you can automate the parameter tuning feed in your Python code. So in the, if you remember from my previous video, what we have really tried is we were trying to manually change the various parameters uh, by keep on increasing it and uh, then with the help of cross validation scores we were getting the different scores and finally when we were averaging them out we were trying to figure it out whether adding a new parameter uh, is really going to make sense or not so parameters are here if uh, I show you again uh, just too much of all right I'm sorry about that scrolling okay I'll go slow a little bit so here is my different parameters the last one is uh, median these are like uh, number of attribute is 13 and uh, 13 13 is basically a parameters and uh, median value 14 is basically the target so we have overall uh, 14 parameters so what I'll do is I will simply go ahead and uh, iterate over these different parameters uh, by removing the 14th one and then see uh, how I'm getting the score okay all right uh, so what I'll do is uh, first of all I need to specify the the list of range for these parameters to iterate it over and what I can do is I will say param underscore range and this will be part of the list I'll specify the range and it will go from 0 to length of boston dot feature names so this particular function will give you the total length of feature names which will be 14 but 14th is your target variable so I will just reduce it to 1 so it will go from uh, 0 to 13 but 0 to 13 is basically a 14 value if, if we see it in context of Python arrays so what I'll do is reduce the 2 so 0 to 12 is basically your 13 features okay and after that what I'll do is uh, I will create uh, the mean underscore scores just a simple list to keep on appending the scores and then I will write for i in param underscore range colon and then I need to specify my x value x is equals to boston dot data the rows and then from 0 to i right and then y will be the boston dot target and then we specify multi regs equals to linear regression and once we have this we will say scores is equals to using the cross underscore val underscore score if you have not followed my video probably you would be wondering uh, how I have got it but all of these things I have imported in my previous video so I'm not importing it again okay. cross val score then I'm going x comma y comma cv cross validation is equals to 5 because I want to split my data set into 5 different sets for training and testing and then I want the scoring with the help of an EG mean absolute underscore error all right and then I want to append it mean underscore scores dot append and uh, I will say score start mean so that's a lot of coding I'll just go again once uh, so first of all we are specifying the parameter range from 0 to 12 to have all these 13 parameters then we are specifying the mean scores uh, to get it over here getting the mean scores from the cross validation and keep on appending it so that's the list that we are specifying then we are going into the loop for i in param range which is up till uh, total 13 values so it is starting from 0 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 all of so on and so forth and then it is specifying the multiple linear regression for each iteration 
and then scoring the value with the help of x and y and uh, cv is equals to 5 and one thing i forgot is uh, it's basically the multi rec over here so this is the method the linear regression x and y scoring in absolute error and we are good finally what we are doing is we are printing the need underscore scores all right if nothing is uh, problematic here then we should get our scores all right uh, here we have error and pretty much i think it's the error over here because there must be something which i so yeah i think uh, what it is saying is finding with minimum one number of uh, feature which is required so what it is basically saying that since you have already specified zero here go ahead and specify one so from one to basically all of these different features so i'll just reduce from two to one over here and from one to twelve so zero to one zero to two zero to three and this way it should work fine let's go ahead and execute it again and now we are getting the errors properly and if you see we have got the error uh, the the mean scores for each of the uh, each of the variables and we are seeing that uh, the minimum score is i think 4.6 when you are here right on the last variable so what it is basically indicating that it is quite significant so on the when we have just the two variables it's quite increased and it is decreasing as we are uh, adding more variables but here if you see we add this variable then it the, the the absolute error has been increased so that's not good but after adding the another one over here it has been decreased so this is basically a way by which you can really you know get the scores but it raises another issue and another issue is mix and match about uh, from not only in a linear way but mix and match way so there are different things you know you as a data scientist you would try and explore this and that's why it becomes really interesting about when the when you will really find that uh, solution which is having very less variables but very good output so that's pretty much all the automation i wanted to show you in this video and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic